those are not the people that you want in your life. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the five signs that you will be successful. Now, obviously success is very different to a lot of people. Success to me may not mean the same exact thing that it does to you. And for me, again, personally, kind of the values that I put into there when I'm thinking about like, what makes us truly successful? I'm thinking of doing what makes you happy, helping others, and kind of just living a life that you designed, right? So let's kick this list off of the five signs that you will be successful with. Number one, you are never satisfied. Now, not being satisfied can kind of mean a couple different things. However, in the sense that I'm meaning it, it's that you don't really know where your ceiling is, right? Or like if you've hit a ceiling and you feel that you can go higher than that, then it's something where you'd be willing to leave, whether it's a job or a scenario or a situation, uh, in order to kind of further your ceiling above that. Now also what kind of ties into this is that you're probably a little bit of a perfectionist, right? You want things done a specific way and you want it to be done the right way. And what's really cool about this trait is that it really just drives perfection in everything that you do. It kind of consumes you a little bit too much so you do have to be careful with kind of not going too far. And I'm not talking about not being satisfied you know, with your relationships or with material things or anything like that. What I'm really talking about is just this kind of overwhelming personality trait that you're never satisfied and that you always want to do better and that you always want to be better than you were yesterday. And gentlemen, that's really what it's all about. Now, number two, you are extremely optimistic. Now, I'm not talking about blind optimism because trust me, I've been guilty of that as well, where you kind of just are like, oh, it's gonna be totally fine. Everything's gonna work itself out. All I have to do is put my faith in the big guy upstairs or whatever you believe in, and it'll all just happen, right? I'm not necessarily talking about that. I mean, having faith and having hope and being extremely optimistic is extremely important. However, being blindly optimistic is not the right way to go about it. What you need to do is you need to have the perfect amount of optimism mixed with realism so that that way you can perform at a very professional business level, but you're optimistic and you kind of bring that dreamer side of things into the mix. That right there kind of just makes you unstoppable. And so that way when you're faced with decisions of you know stress or anxiety or really just anything negative, you can take it head on and you've been able to show that you can take it head on. Number three, you constantly question the status quo. Keeping up with the Joneses is not in your vocabulary. Now gentlemen, this third sign that you will be successful is kind of a big one because if you think about all of the things that society teaches us or you know the American dream if you're here in the States, that sort of thing is old news, right? And it's kind of not what people want nowadays. People wanna help others, they wanna do something that makes them happy, and they wanna make a lot of money doing it. And with those three values, you can really create sort of a business that makes you happy, makes everyone else happy, and it pads your bank account. So by constantly questioning the status quo or not really ever keeping up with the Joneses per se, you can really put your mark on this world. So that's why it's such an important trait, and if you do have that trait already, then I guarantee you, or there's a very high likelihood, at least, that you will be successful. Now, the fourth sign that you are gonna be successful is that you're a little uncomfortable telling people your dreams. Now, I'm not talking necessarily about like mom and dad, or your brother, or your sister, or you know, really just like, you know, kind of immediate family, right? I'm talking about friends, people that you don't know, anything like that. And really kind of where this fear comes from is that you see it in your head, it's normal to you, it makes sense to you, but you know that in telling them, they're probably gonna think you're crazy, or that you're an idiot, or something like that, right? And we'll save this for another video. Spoiler alert! Those are not the people that you want in your life. However, we'll save that for another video. Now, going back into it, again, if you're, it makes you kind of uncomfortable telling people how big your goals and your aspirations are, how much money you wanna make, if that kind of makes you uncomfortable, then there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna kind of develop into a business leader or you probably have some of those entrepreneurial skills already within you that will kind of aid in this transition of you kind of hitting that success mark. And again, that fear just kind of comes from a place of, again, society has taught us that, you know, you have to have a college education to get a great job with great benefits 
And if you don't do all of those things, then you're not really successful. When in reality, a lot of people tried and true have made a lot of themselves and have none of that, right? So, I mean, look at these, look at the kids on TikTok, for example, or just really anybody on TikTok who's under the age of 18, like they're making millions of dollars and all they do is post videos and they post humorous videos, great content, educational content, and they've blown up, right? And they got endorsement deals, sponsorship deals, and it's really just doing what they love. And that's with no education hardly at all, right? So think, keep that in mind. But if you are uncomfortable telling people how big your dreams and your goals and your aspirations are and you, how you wanna build generational wealth, if that makes you uncomfortable, there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna be successful in life. Now, number five. Now, this one's a big one. Um, this is probably the most important trait on today's list. I would argue that it is easily the, the number one sign. I didn't really put these in an order, but, and if I really had to say if there's one thing on this list that would show me that you're gonna be successful, it's that you truly want to help people. Guys, you cannot have total fulfillment in anything that you do if you're not helping others. Now, I don't mean that you have to be at the level of like Mother Teresa or Gandhi, you know, to this, to this kind of overwhelming sense. However, anybody who's really found success in a market has really helped people, right? They've found a problem with whether it be like a gadget or whatever, they found a problem with a consumer and they have created a solution to solve that problem and then the consumer buys that solution essentially. Now we're not, you know, we're talking, we're gonna be talking about hard goods, coaching programs, books, like whatever it really is, right? It could just be content on YouTube. However, that's kind of the one staple in anything or any successful business model is that it helps people. Now, whether your intentions are just to make a lot of money or you truly do wanna help people, both kind of go hand in hand in the fact that to have a successful business or to be successful in that, you have to wanna to help others inherently because if you're not solving a problem that consumers have, then you're really probably not gonna have a successful business and make money. And then on the other side of it, if you really just wanna screw people over, how are you supposed to sell that, right? So they kind of go hand in hand, even though the intentions may be different, the core concept of truly wanting to help people is extremely important in becoming successful. And that's again why I would argue that this last point is probably the most important one. So if you notice in your life, whether it's money motivated, you're motivated by your family or your lack of bills or whatever the case may be, whatever you're motivated by, if your business model at the core is wanting to help people, then it really is you know, a, a true statement in that success will find you. Because when you're doing what makes you happy and you're helping other people, good karma is gonna flow your way, trust me. So. That's it for today's video, guys. Those are my five signs that you will be successful. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did like this video and you love the content that I'm creating, drop me a thumbs up, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button as well if you have not. And also drop below in the comments if you have another trait that you think is a sign that makes you a successful individual. Thanks again for tuning into the video, guys. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys later. Peace.